It is the 200th episode, and I'm so freaking excited. Hey, yeah, I'm Amanda, and welcome to the Best Damn Coach Podcast, where I will teach you how to coach yourself, how to coach your clients, and how to run your coaching business. The number one goal of this show, though, is to help you be the best damn coach you can be so your clients go out and tell the world about you. So let's do the damn thing. Welcome to our 200th episode. And as you can hear, things sound a little bit different around here because we decided to make episode 200 our ta-da, new rebrand to the Best Damn Coach podcast. And if you've been listening to this podcast since the very beginning, the Feel Amazing Naked podcast, I first off just want to say a big freaking thank you. Thank you for joining in and staying tuned because you've kind of experienced growth yourself on this journey with me. I have experienced a ton of growth. And from my perspective, that is what growing a business and part of life is all about is growing, evolving, and coming into a new version of ourselves over time. And so today I get to, for the very first time, say welcome to the Best Damn Coach podcast. And that feels really fantastic. If you didn't tune into episode 199, it was kind of the teaser, if you will, to what was coming today, which is all the new sound, the look, the feel, the new look of the art, by the way, the podcast art, you can take a look, and the new sound and flavor that we're going to be sharing here. And I mean, I think you've kind of already got a sense over the years, I've started to splash in more business discussions. And honestly, through that, not only did I feel more excited and aligned with the work that I was doing, I also saw feedback from my downloads as they began to grow somewhat exponentially, uh, the more I talk about business and what it means to find work-life balance, what it means to coach, what it means to guide people. And so it felt so organic for me to finally just say, hey, you know what? I'm embracing this whole side of me and I'm loving and having so much gratitude for running a health-focused kind of podcast and life coaching podcast for the last 199 episodes plus our Strip It Down Fridays. Um, which is really equally about three years. And now it's time to, in honestly, a place of such gratitude, level up. And I'm so excited that you're here. I also just want to say to some of you that you might get into this part and be like, yeah, this isn't for me. And that's okay. I have like mad love for you. I understand that sometimes when we personally decide to grow, there may not be a place for everyone who consistently listens. What I do promise though is even though many of my episodes are going to be focused on business, I will still, of course, focus on self-coaching because I think that is the most important part of coaching other people and leading other people is you have to be leading yourself first. I believe you can only take clients as far as you've taken yourself. So that's why I'm on a constant quest for personal development and putting myself in uncomfortable situations and holding the bar for myself so that I can to say, I walk it, I breathe it, I do it myself. And trust me, if I can do it, so can you. (laughs) So I'm so excited because today we're going to do a few things. I'm going to talk a little, and then I'm going to talk about a massive giveaway we are doing in honor of our 200th episode celebration over the next week. And I'm actually going to let you hear from some of the amazing listeners of this show, some of which who have been listening since day one, some that have joined in over the years. I've reached out to people that give me feedback week in and week out about how much this podcast resonates with them. And so I just want to celebrate them. I want to celebrate you, the listeners, because truthfully, without you, there would be no podcast. I also just want to talk about one thing that's really important about number 200, and that is consistency. There's a couple things in my business that I've held myself to a standard of. And some people will ask, how do you like every week email your newsletter? How do you every week podcast? Here's what I know is that if I am not consistent, then how can I teach my people how to be consistent? And I think that whether we're talking about health coaching, whether we're talking about business, whatever it is, that consistency in all of these things is extremely important. So two things that I do every week, I podcast every week, I release a podcast episode and I email my newsletter because ultimately that's the value, the free value that I feel like I can give to the world and can change lives because I know not everybody will be my client, although I wish all of you were. So we could meet and show you your power and help your dreams come to fruition. 
And also, this is the cool part of doing business is you get to choose how much you want to give away for free. You guys, I podcast every week because I choose to give it to people to change their lives. Some of you may listen to the show and that's enough. But I pay my editor, I pay my team to produce all of this because I believe in adding value to your life. And so I hope that you love it. And if you haven't left a review, this would be my 200th request. (laughs) If you've not left a review for the show, head on over to Apple or wherever you listen. You can click leave a review, give us five stars if you feel called to, and tell us what you love about the show. Because again, the look, the feel is going to be different. It's going to give us a new opportunity on Apple. Let's freaking climb the charts. Let's show people that coaches out there are here to impact the world, that more coaches need guidance that is real, that is vulnerable, and isn't necessarily, this is not the podcast where I'm going to say like, I have the magic formula. There is not a magic formula. And I hope that you run far from people who tell you there is. What it takes is a a lot of heart, a lot of grit, a lot of self-commitment, a lot of being immersed in community. I'll talk more about that later. And it takes, from my perspective, just a lot of personal work on a day in and day out to keep showing up to serve people. And I think there's thousands, probably millions of amazing coaches out there that could benefit from listening. So please, if you've never left us a review, or maybe you have, and you feel like it's time to refresh, I would 100% love to hear from you and be able to see your review show up because I often do grab them and kind of read and give some feedback on the show. So I want to talk a little bit about what the heck Best Damn Coach really means to me and where it came from and welcome you to the BDC community. You can listen to episode 199 to talk about what kind of hit me when it came to rebranding and making some moves in my business. But one of the things that really struck me is no matter the conversations I've been having with coaches, one of the things they said is, I want to be a better coach. Like, I want to be the best coach I can be for my people. And so as I sat with that, I was like, what am I going to name? Like, I really want the title to be catchy, but I wanted to like, right away, you read it and know, hmm, this is for me because I loved Feel Amazing Naked, but there's a lot of ambiguity around the title. And so it's kind of like, eh, it's not clear. People are coming for weight loss. People are coming for life coaching. People are coming from other things. And I'll let you use your imagination. I could tell you some really crazy stories that I've had over the years of people thinking Feeling Amazing Naked meant something that it totally was never intended to. Then it kind of dawned on me like, yeah, I just want to help people be the best damn coach they can be. And that to me means two things. It's the best damn coach for the people we serve and also to be our best damn coach as well. So on this show, moving forward, you're going to hear these three things, how to coach yourself, how to be amazing at coaching others and how to run a coaching slash consulting slash online service based business, because you may not self identify with the word coach. And I totally get it. But coach, service provider, mentor, teacher, consultant, for me, we are all coaches in some capacity, and there's going to be so much value for you. But the cool thing also about best damn coach is this is what we decided to name our signature coaching experience. And I'm hesitating calling it a program because it's truly a six month at a time community that you can continue to re up in. I want to build a community where coaches don't want to leave. And I want it to be the most premier space for coaches to be not only nurtured in business, that's kind of like the side part, but to be so amazing at who they're serving and the ability to elicit client results that We make a name for ourselves and we build an army of confident and competent coaches that go out and change the world with their gifts. And so we've been working behind the scenes for months now to truly build out that community, the BDC community, the best damn coach community. Currently, by the way, we are enrolling for founding members. And this is amazing because we're giving some bonuses away, including a significant amount off the investment, which is 500 off the investment. And also an opportunity to attend our early coaching clinics before we actually officially start the program, which is October. So if you are looking for a community that is ready to nurture you and support you, and you're going to be with me live coaching with other coaches, then this is the place for you. We have curated basically two vaults of materials, done for you materials, which means you grab them and they're done. We've done a business vault, which has things in it such as nurture sequences for emails, how to build out landing pages, how to have sales call scripts, 
how to overcome objections on those sales calls, how to host a webinar in Zoom if you don't know any of those things, how to plan out your social media. We've walked you through stuff inside the vault that is going to save you hours upon hours of time. And we've also done the same in our coaching vaults. Inside that vault, our focus is on supporting you to be a better coach and to provide all the stuff that you might need, how to session framework, how to find out if you need a contract or not, how to onboard a call, how to track their progress, how to collect testimonials. We have a complete how-to, how to handle a difficult client, how to handle a client that shows up late, how to handle a client that doesn't do the work, amongst other things. But our goal is to do all these things kind of for you so that you can focus on your clients and you can focus on getting your clients results. Because here's the thing about business. If you are getting your clients amazing results, they go out and tell the world about you and they literally become your walking billboard advertisement. And then that's free marketing. And for me, I mean, that grew my business over the 300K level before I even invested in the ads. I was just coaching people and they were telling more people about me. And I want to teach you how to do that. And I want to support you inside this community. So Every week we meet and we focus on the four S's of coaching. So each week is devoted to a different S and those are sales, service, strategy, and of course, self. And so each week of the month we have a call. And in addition to that, each month we have two other opportunities to learn and grow and better yourself as a coach. And that is a practice playground where we come together. I give a topic and then we break out and we coach each other. That way we can practice, right? And we can fail forward with each other instead of feeling uh, hesitant with our clients. And then we also have monthly coaching clinics. And these are special, very content driven. We just hosted one for our founding members that have already joined on uh, all around onboarding our clients. So we talked just about the onboarding process and started brainstorming. How can we improve that? How can we create it if we don't have it? Upcoming ones, we'll be looking at how to build out Instagram reels. We'll be talking about how to use metaphors to enhance our clients' results. All this really juicy stuff that gives me an opportunity to teach a little bit deeper. In addition to our live active Facebook community, which is ping-ponging with celebrations around clients and asking questions. This investment is honestly, I decided to build out a program that was highly accessible from an investment standpoint for people, especially when you're beginning in your business. I want you to have a place that feels very simple and easy to say yes to. So I've literally built out a no brainer. I don't know anybody else out there that has decided to offer this much value for their people. And I just decided that I wanted to be that person. And so Best Damn Coach is kind of unique in that it's also the framework for which I've built out and will be teaching inside the community. And so there's three kind of steps that I believe are necessary for us to be successful as coaches. B, get it, BDC, is build belief. And I'm not talking about just belief in ourself. I teach about my diamond, my coaching diamond, which requires us to build belief in four areas, in ourselves in our client's ability to create results, in our own ability to cultivate results, and then to believe that there is demand waiting for us. Because I see that that's one of the things that holds coaches back so, so much. And I teach more about this inside my community. Step two is you have to do the damn thing. And this is why we need community because this is where we get stuck. We get the certifications, we get the learnings. And then when it comes to actually going out and execution, we stall out, we have paralysis. So that's why inside my program, I'm constantly tasking people with homework to go out and take action. Because if you're taking massive action, then you're having massive results, which is number three, create massive results. Do the thing to create massive results, not just in how you grow your business, but how you support your clients. If you're doing the work, you're attracting clients, that means you get to actually deliver your gift and they have results. And from there, it's just a cycle, friends. And it happens over and over and over. And this is part of why I'm so passionate about creating the space of integrity because the barrier of entry to become a coach is very little, right? The industry is very loosely regulated. You can have an overnight certification. You can have certifications that take you years and you don't have to certify at all. And I actually don't think that any of this is a problem if you are upholding your integrity as a coach and you are saying, I want better for my people. I want to give them amazing results. And I personally just want to be that space. Instead of complaining about the industry being loosely regulated, which I see a lot of people do, I want to be a solution to support coaches. So again, if you haven't checked out the program, you're like, Amanda, I want in. You've got a little bit longer until we close out the founding rate. 
And that can be found at amanda-walker.com forward slash best damn coach. Or if you just go to my website, amanda-walker.com, look up in the upper right hand corner, you can click on best damn coach and you will find us there. I believe that coaches help clients experience transformation and take meaningful action in their own life. And becoming the best damn coach for your people means helping your clients move towards something better or just different in general that they desire in their life. And that requires you to be the best damn coach for yourself. So it doesn't matter if you're a health coach, if you're a coaching therapist, or you are a therapist who wants to be a coach, or you're a hairdresser coaching hairdressers, or a stylist coaching women who want to dress more confidently. This program is a place for every single coach and I want you to be a part of it. And so I'm so grateful that you are continuing to listen, that you're along for this journey. And in honor again of you amazing people that continue to listen, I am doing a giveaway. And so this giveaway starts now. I'm already kicked it off on social media yesterday. So August 29th is the giveaway all the way through Sunday night. September the 4th. So please make sure that if you're listening on the replay, you know that these are the dates that the giveaway is available. And I'm giving away three amazing prizes. So you have an opportunity three different times. Here's what I'm giving away. One, a one-to-one coaching session with me. So we will deep dive on an area that you need support. And if you don't yet have a business, that's okay. We can do some general life coaching work as well. The second thing I'm giving away is access to our grounding day program, which is a step-by-step system that I teach to create work-life balance. And you will get full access to the program and all the materials, which sells for a $4.97 value. And also we are giving away a $200 gift card to Amazon in honor of the 200th episode. So how do you, how can you enter to be in the giveaway? So here's what we are looking for. One, please make sure you're following me on social at a walk my way. And what you're going to do is share this episode, right? The whole goal here is to spread the message. Let people know, check out new rebranded podcast. You can't miss it. So tag us, take a screenshot of that and email it over to our support at amanda-walker.com so we can see it and leave us a review. So three things really. Make sure you're following us, share the episode and give us proof by email, and then leave us an amazing review, letting us know how this podcast has impacted you, what you love, and you will be entered in the giveaway. And if you have any questions, feel free again to email our team. We want to make it easy for you. And also we want to make sure that Everybody gets the same opportunity by doing those three simple steps. And we'll be talking about it all week long on social media as well. Of course, we're here to support you. So send us a DM if you have any questions. I am grateful for you. I'm so grateful that you are a part of this journey with me. And I feel just intense gratitude. And I feel a lot of pride for just showing up over and over and over. There are days I definitely didn't want to freaking podcast or weeks rather. And you guys have been the inspiration to just keep going. And this is exactly what I would tell my clients. Sometimes we do things when we just don't feel like it. We just dive in and we, you know, have a little grit and show up for ourselves. And it feels so good when we're on the other side. So thank you so much. And as we head out of this episode, I'm going to turn it over to some of the amazing listeners of the podcast that I'm so grateful for. Took time to share some of their learnings from being on the show, what they love And again, thank you for 200 episodes and cheers to 200, 300, 400, a whole heck of a lot more. Hi, Amanda. It's Christine from Christine Kaplan Coaching. And I work with teens who have ADHD and their moms so that they can deal with all the stress and craziness to have a super successful and fun high school journey. And Amanda, you have helped so much with the podcast to help clarify my messaging, to really dig deep, to find that niche that I serve. Your weekly podcast has helped so much with the inspiration, with ideas, with support. And I really look forward to continuing the journey with you, with the podcast and really learning more about how I can be the very best coach that I can be to serve my people in the most amazing ways. Hi there, my name is Shannon Brown. I've been working with Amanda for the last year, and she has been inspirational for me. And her podcasts just are like a weekly reminder of what I need to do. And I like a lot of her 
podcast because they're about mindset, getting your mind back on track with what you're supposed to be doing in your business and staying away from those limiting thoughts. And I'm just really looking forward to future podcasts where she's focusing on business development, growth, et cetera. What I love about Amanda's podcasts are that they are so relatable. Like I can listen and follow along so easily, but also she gives you so many action steps and it makes my goals seem achievable. And that's what I love. Like, especially when she talks about her favorite tools, I have benefited from that. When she's talked about books she's enjoyed. I have benefited from that. She's taking simple steps. She makes me realize that there are so many options to how business can be done and how I can be a solopreneur. I think what I love the most about Amanda's podcast transition is I feel like we're growing together. (laughs) Her original business, I needed her. And with this one, I do too. And she always delivers. She is all heart. And I am so grateful for the day I found her podcast. Why do I listen to the podcast? Oh my gosh. Well, I'm a regular listener because number one, I just freaking adore and love and respect Amanda. And number two, Anything I can get from her, I just want to soak her up. So whether it's something that she talks about on her podcast that's, you know, personal or business-wise or mindset-wise or how to be a better woman, finance, it's so relevant to my life. I connect with her. It makes sense to me. You know what another thing I love about the podcast is that it's not, she doesn't speak at you and down on you. She speaks almost in a level of just wanting to lift you up and help you to see things that maybe you couldn't see before. So I love her and I love everything I can get from her. Hi, I'm Lindsay and Amanda is my business coach and I'm so thankful for her and her podcast. She's bringing such great content, knowledge and tools to entrepreneurs like myself who battle the roller coaster of emotions on a daily basis and thinking I'm not enough and all of the limiting beliefs that I have in my business. And I'm able to take away such great content and be able to implement those tools right away so I can battle those beliefs that aren't true about myself. And I'm able to dive in and focus on what I need to do to continue to drive my business forward and be able to survive this amazing, crazy life called entrepreneurship. One of the most important things you will ever do as a coach is ask questions. So I've put together a simple go-to resource that you can have in your back pocket as a coach of 10 powerful questions I believe every coach should know. So go ahead and head on over to amanda-walker.com forward slash questions to grab yours now.